Okay, this video is going to be about DNA naked viruses. Uh, specifically, we'll be learning about the Popova virus, the adenovirus, and the parvovirus. And you'll see that I capitalized the O and the V right here, and that's going to um, deal with the memory aid that will help us, uh, and I'll talk about that later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Again, here is our memory aid to remember the DNA viruses. And uh, my little note, if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen this already, but just be careful that there's um, some RNA viruses that start with a P also. Okay, so we're going to start with the Papova virus. Now, a quick memory aid to help you remember the naked DNA viruses. So we're going to think PAP, P-A-P, and we're going to remember it by thinking girls are naked when they get a pap smear. Okay, we're going to start with Papova virus, and our focus is going to be uh, on HPV, human papillomavirus. So by far you see most amount of questions coming from Papova virus um, dealing with HPV. Okay, HPV is the most common cause of viral STD. Now, when you get questions on your exams, you have to be very careful about what they're asking. So notice here I specified viral STD. I didn't say um, most common cause of STD or most common cause of bacterial STD. So you have to be very careful about um, reading the wording. You know, whenever you approach a question, you should always ask yourself, how are they trying to trick me on this question? So the most common cause of viral STDs is going to be HPV. And then let's say I said, what are one of the most common causes of STD? Then we could say chlamydia is one of the most common causes of STDs. So HPV causes uh, papillomas or warts on the skin and mucous membranes. So a defining feature of HPV is the papilloma or the warts, and it's even there in the name, in the, the P. It's a DNA oncogenic virus. Now, I don't want you guys to get tricked on these questions, so this is another area that you have to be very careful about. So another thing you have to pay close attention to is distinguishing between DNA versus RNA. There is an RNA oncogenic virus that's retrovirus, but we're not asking, but they might not be asking about that on your question. They might be asking about a DNA oncogenic virus. So just be careful about that. So HPV is a DNA oncogenic virus. It's associated with uh, cervical carcinomas. So you're going to run into a couple questions that want you to know the differences between the different types of HPVs. So HPV 16 and HPV 18 are the most common cause of cervical cancers. Okay, HPV can cause uh, what are called condyloma acuminatum, also known as genital or anal warts. Uh, they're benign papillomas. Um, this is the most easily recognized uh, sign of HPV, and HPV type 6 and 11 are responsible for most cases. And then uh, HPV, you'll commonly see a Veruca vulgaris, which is a common wart. So here's a little chart we've got. So HPV 6 and 11 going to be uh, the symptoms of anal and genital warts. Sometimes you'll see this come up, so I put it on here, laryngeal papillomatosis. And then uh, HPV 16 and 18 are going to be cervical cancers. Okay, moving on to adenovirus. <clears throat> so for this one, we're going to look at this word aden, and we're going to think aden of preschoolers with pink eye and colds. And if you remember that, then that tells you pretty much a lot of what you need to know about this virus. So it causes 